Welcome to the iClarify tutorial on how to jailbreak your iPhone 5, iPhone 4S, iPhone 4, and iPhone 3GS using Evasion. This procedure will work for iOS 6.0 through iOS 6.1. Let's begin. Connect your iPhone to the computer and launch iTunes. Select your iPhone from the list of devices. Make sure you are on the Summary tab and click the Backup Now button. Once you've successfully backed up your device, you are ready to restore to iOS 6.1 if you haven't already updated. Create a folder called Ponage on your desktop. In the text version of this tutorial, you can find download links to the iOS 6.1 firmware for your device. Download the IPSW for your iPhone. Make sure to save it to the Ponage folder on your desktop. Once the download is complete, return to iTunes. Hold down the Option key and click the Restore iPhone button. Navigate to the Ponage folder on your desktop, select the IPSW we just downloaded, and click Open. When prompted to confirm, click the Restore button. Your iPhone will now be restored to the firmware you selected. This may take some time. Once the restore is complete, return to the text version of the tutorial and use the links to download the latest version of Evasion. Save it to the Ponage folder on the desktop. Double-click the downloaded DMG to mount it, then drag the Evasion app into the Ponage folder. Right-click the Evasion app and choose Open from the contextual menu. When asked to confirm, click the Open button. The Evasion utility will now open. Once it identifies your device, click the Jailbreak button. The app will retrieve information from the device to generate jailbreak data, prepare stage 1 jailbreak data, inject stage 1 jailbreak data, reboot the device, wait for the device to be ready, inject stage 2 jailbreak data, upload Cydia, and upload the Cydia packages list. You will then be asked to unlock your device and tap the new jailbreak app icon. It is imperative that you only tap the icon once. The app will open and immediately close. Evasion will then eject the remount payload, remount the root file system, prepare the final jailbreak data, inject the final jailbreak data, and complete. Your iPhone will reboot a final time after which you'll notice Cydia on your springboard. Congratulations, you are now jailbroken.